Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's DMG, and welcome back to Blitz, and today we are going to go through another Back to Basics video, this time on the map Lost Temple. This one is next in line in after, what, Middleburg, and I had a great time doing Middleburg, so without further ado, let's get into Lost Temple. Now, Lost Temple is actually a pretty simple one, regardless of whether you're playing Supremacy or Encounter. Um, you always want to go to the temple side with the temple steps. And this is one of the few maps in the game where town is actually the best place to go. And why is that? Because you are higher up than the valley. And even if this was encounter, you'd still be able to cap the base somewhat effectively as those people in the valley have a hard time getting shots at people in the town area. It's not like Middleburg in the sense where you can easily swarm the town and uh, kill whatever's in it because you have defensible positions like this pagoda. Now, as you can see, just by force of habit, I just went up here um, originally as this is probably the most important spot. I even discussed this in one of my mastery videos. I think I was playing the SP1C or the Comet or something like that, but... I was up here and I was just spraying down fire. Now, if you have this position, you are protected by these little um, little stairs, right? And this allows you to just go have like a semi haul down and allows you to poke. Like all, all, all they see is your uh, upper front plate, really. And like it's so hard to get a shot at your lower plate. I mean, if I angle like that, right, all they can see is my upper front plate. And sure, this is a light tank, but let's say you have an IS-7 up here, right? If you hide your lower plate... And imagine if that's an IS-7, right? This is so difficult to penetrate. So up in this temple area is important. Now keep in mind that if everyone goes to this temple step area, it doesn't work, right? Because what happens is if you get like three people trying to climb these temple steps, it gets really clogged. So if you see someone already at the top step, stagger it. And what I mean by stagger is go down like one level of steps and then use use this you know sure it's a little it's not as good but at least you're not crowding like you don't want to be crowding this little whatever this is this nook this cranny right here you know it's not it's not a good idea to have like two or three tanks all fighting for this one spot because then it just clogs and I think bad things happen you could have two people up here though um, one on this side and the other on that side um, if you're trying to get damage now, the temple area is the most important. It's not even really about capping, because if the other team goes to the temple side, right, you're just going to want to fight them off. It's not about, because this base is way too open, right? You don't want to try and cap this base, because that it just means you're exposing yourself. Even if you go all the way to the edge over here, people can still shoot you. So, this is not a good idea. The most important thing you need to remember is if you control this little circular thing up here, you will win the game. And sometimes people will try and push you. <coughs> excuse me. Sometimes people will try and push you up here. And I mean, like, push you when you're up here, not, you know, physically push your tank. But they'll be on the other side. They are the top priority to kill because. When they are, because you cannot be as effective up here if there is someone on the other side, you know, also firing. So what you, so what I always do is I always prioritize whoever's up here, and of course, granted, I'm not gonna purposely, you know, poke out sideways and expose my tank. However, if they fire and I can have a quick poke and fire a shot across, I'm going to do it. Of course, if there are enemies, you know, here in this area or in that area, right, I'm not going to worry about who's right here, right? I'm going to try and whittle these guys down enough or at least fire at them and pen them like once or twice and say, hey, I can pen you and I'm playing this game too, right? I can, I can just as easily pen you as you can pen me. So it will give me, so it'll keep them in check and it'll allow, give me a little bit more space to work this area and put in shots at whoever's up here. But if no one's up here, right, the whole point is just playing king of this little pagoda, right? And 
sometimes people will push around and you just got to be good with your reverse driving and work all the way around. Sometimes they'll push around this way through the cap. So you got to come all the way around like this and put shots in here. It's just working this circle. If you can like if you can rotate around this pagoda effectively, you will win the game every single time. If you can just win this area, I'm telling you this top step is so important and it's such a such a small nuance of the game, but I think that this is easily the most important part of the map. Now, this is great for heavy tanks or medium tanks like back in the old meta. If you took you took a T-54 up here, right? You were almost indomitable because like you'd see Tiger 2s, right? They'd just be rolling on up and you'd be just be throwing heat right through their turret and you'd just be unstoppable up there, you know. Um, so the that area, I mean, the tactical advantages of this area are undeniable and this will always be the best place to go. But like I said, if they go to the valley side, then instead of looking out this way like I am, I'm rotating like this and I'm firing across here. Now, I think after what, five, five and a half minutes of me saying that this area is the most important, I'm going to show you some other spots that could be good or of use. Now, if you're in a tank destroyer, there's really only one spot that you can use on, and this is mirrorable on both sides, but it's all the way in the back. This is all you got essentially. You know, it's not, tank destroyers are at a very, very large disadvantage on Lost Temple, and they're not very effective, which is why I usually stay away from driving tank destroyers, as they're, as when you get maps like this, they're not as effective. I'm actually glad that this map got removed from high tiers, because then you can take a Jagdpanzer E100 a little bit more securely, as you're not, you know you're not going to get this map, um, but this map for tank stirs is just hell. So, just letting you know. I mean, you can go here in a tank stir as well, but I think in a side scraping heavy tank, it actually might be better, right? This is on this is on both sides too. You can see the rock on the other side, but tank destroyers, it's that back area right there. You got that one back bush, and same thing on the other side. There's a bush in the back, and that's all you got. But why would you want to sit back there? Because you're going to be obviously firing at people up here, right? But wouldn't you just want to take up here instead of sit in the back? I mean, you get view range here. You get hard cover here. And once the tank destroyers fire, you're going to spot them from the middle. So just try and uh, take that top area. Now, if they go to the valley side, I'm going to show you some spots there uh, of how to counter the valley side if they go to that area. Now... The thing about the valley side is that there are a few interesting things you can pull. If this is supremacy, right, you want to still go A, B. Now, C, you can cap C, sure, and it keeps pressure on, right? But don't capping C should not be your first priority. It should be, okay, if we can add another form of pressure on them to, like, break a stalemate or something like that, go ahead and cap C if no one's over there. But... Let's say you go up to these temple stops and you're like, okay, they're not here, right? So what do you do? If we started on the side that I spawned on, the places I always like to go is right here by this house and just poke through here. This allows you to get shots at people sitting here, allows you to get shots at people trying to climb here and get shots, and it also allows you to hit people crossing as well as the people trying to come up this ramp right here and go into B. Now as you can see like this is so open and this is why coming from C is very hard to attack from because you are going to be driving through a bunch of open space and there's not a lot of cover. I mean sure you have these these rocks but once you're stuck once you get down there you're stuck. I mean you can't move well, I mean, you can move, but you're going to get shot, so your tank is effectively useless. So, going up here allows you to have this hard cover, and it allows you to quick poke, fire, right? And people people will sometimes be on this ridge right here, trying to get shots. You can just farm them. It's pretty easy to do. This exists on the other side as well, so let's say if we spawned on the red spawn, right? And you go up to the 
pagoda no one's there right and you're gonna say okay what do we do now how do we counter the valley all you do is simply go over to the mirrored side spot right here same kind of deal right get to look through all these different lanes and you're covered like this all they can really see is your turret especially if they're coming from there right it, it's just so easy to to do and that's essentially where i like to go because at least here you're um you're still in the town area and there's so much cover it's not like they're gonna immediately flank you right they have to come over that bridge or come through this point right here right and you're gonna see them coming from a mile away it's not like Middleburg town where there's there's so many buildings on flat ground and they're so tall that you can't even see them coming until they're right on top of you right lost temple is a totally different ball of wax so I'll just call it the temple because I hate calling it the town town just gives gives me bad nightmares and thoughts so uh, the temple area is the best you know temple is fine town is not so temple area is amazing and that's essentially what I enjoy doing I mean like I said I'm not in tank destroyers all that often so I don't have to worry about this problem especially in the tiers that it's at now what is it it's like tiers five through seven this map is available for so um, tank destroyers once again all you got is this back area so just be quite um, careful with what you're doing you may end up being slotted into the role of the kind of meat shield um, so I mean it's not fun when you're in a stir a meal or something like that but just be ready now something that you can do and this is both on supremacy and encounter is that if you know you're going to be uncontested on the seaside let's say that they have mostly heavies and then a few tank destroyers you can push all the way through right and not to don't don't even worry about the base and if it's encounter even better right because then there's no base then there's no reason for anyone to come over here you just push all the way around i've done this in the leopard before i just go all the way around right to this these little rocks right here and i'll usually spot somebody because taint stirs will spawn all the way in the back around here and they'll all be trying to climb to the temple so you're going to catch their butt and their side and you can just fire away at their drive wheels with impunity and sometimes you'll be unspotted because you'll have this view range and they'll have the camo net right but it won't be as i wouldn't say activated but it won't be as good because there's still a slight bonus when moving but you'll still be able to catch people and just put so many shots into them like i've taken e4s tortoises fv215b183s down to a quarter of their health because what they'll sometimes do is right because the tank destroyer bushes are back here and they'll try and sit here and get shots at the people uh at the pagoda and what they'll do is they'll sit around here near this rock and you'll just be able to put shots into them from these locations right and they won't even be able to see you and they're just gonna start getting hit and they can take cover behind this rock but at some point they're gonna want to move which means they're gonna move out this way again right and you're just gonna farm them it's so easy but keep in mind that tactic is only useful when you know you're gonna you can just push right through it only works at the start of the game so just keep that in mind I think that's lost temple in a nutshell I mean here in the valley area there's not that many spots you can use right I mean valley area should be used if you're going to be attacking the valley area you shouldn't be attacking from the valley area you shouldn't be attacking the valley area now like I said, cap C in the event there's a stalemate because if you can put cap pressure on um, and cap a base and then run, it will eventually draw people away from this town area. Not, not the town, excuse me, the temple area. Temple dark. There we go. Um, like I said, this bridge uh, or this ramp going up to B. Like, guys, you're going to get shot by people sitting there, sitting there. Oh, there's the dragon, right? And people sitting at the pagoda. So trying to cap B is such a uh, difficult ask. And then, you know, if you're in B, right, if you're sitting all the way at the back of B like this and you're in a heavy tank, you're such a difficult pen. And most importantly that I forgot to show you, so we'll go over this really quickly, this is mirrorable on both sides. And 
this is how you reset the pagoda, right? If you can sit here, you can get shots at the at the people at the pagoda, and um, you'll be able to effectively counter them. So this is the only spot that I have ever found that works like a tr like a charm and allows you to reset the um, pagoda fighters, right? And that works on both sides. So that would be that was the place that I was driving. So that's Lost Temple in a nutshell. If you like that content, please subscribe. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I'm actually over 750 now, 763 to be exact. If I can get to 1,000, that would be great. I was hoping for 1,000 uh, originally, so I'm seeing if I can hit that goal. If you didn't like that content, please leave your constructive criticism in the comment section. As always, I appreciate the opportunity to share my passion with you today, and I hope to see you next time.